You are God by yourself. You do not need us to be the God that you, you are. You are the one who says a thing and it comes to pass. Father, we worship you. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You have never failed and you will never fail. Unchangeable, reliable God. The God of all creation. We worship you, Abba Father. You are great, you are mighty. From beginning to end, you are the same. Father, we give you all the wonderful names that you deserve. You are God all by yourself. Father, we praise your holy name. Alpha and Omega, the one who opens the door and no one can close. The protocol breaker. Daddy, we worship you. We worship you. We can do all things only through you that gives us strength. Father, we lift your name on high. Be highly exalted. Be highly glorified. You are worthy of our praises, Daddy Jehovah. Let's begin to lift up our voice again at this time and thank the Lord for everything that he has done for us. We are living today, it's not because of our righteousness. We are living today, it's not because of our own will. It is all because by the will of God, because of his plan and purpose that he has for us. So many people wanted to be here with us today, but they are lying down sick in the bed or the hospital. So many have been caught up with many other activities in life. May God has given us the privilege to be counted amongst the living. People of God, begin to lift up your voice at this moment. And giving thanks. Begin to thank the Lord. Because he has made you to be counted amongst the living. Begin to thank the Lord. Because he has given you the gift of life. Begin to thank the Lord. Because he has done so many great things in your life. That are one voice. Our words, we even lack the words to praise His holy day. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the privilege you have given us to have a place to fellowship. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, for the many great things that you have done to our lives, for the healings, for the deliverance, for everything that you have done. Father, even the ones that we have even failed to remember. We say thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. At this time, again, let's begin to thank the Lord especially for our prayer conference that just ended. The Lord has impacted us powerfully. We thank the Lord for the opportunity that we had, that we came into the presence of the Lord. Lives were transformed. Their testimony is still loading. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you for the wonderful prayer conference that just ended. Oh, King of glory, thank you for the life of our bishop in the house. We thank you for the life of prophet Tani, who has also been a blessing to us during this time. Daddy Jehovah, we give you thanks. Father, we thank you for another privilege you have given us to come into your presence. Lord, we begin to put into your hands uh, even those that are still coming on the way, that you are going to make a way, that they'll come here safely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we also begin to pray and we commit, O oh King of glory, the service in your hands. Uh, Father, at this time, we commit every single one that you have made to be a partaker of this conference, that not the King of glory will cut them short from coming into your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to praise again and thank the Lord. Let's thank Him for the opportunity that He has given us to worship in His presence. Every one of us begin to lift up your voice. Let's commit this service into the hands of the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to commit our service again of today to your hands. Father, we pray that you take preeminence of this service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you begin to touch the man of God, everyone that you have anointed to speak to us, that you speak to us through them and you bless us powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that everyone that has been designed to be a partaker of this service is going to come. Nothing going to stop them from coming to your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Daddy Jehovah, we begin to release your presence upon this place. Father, let your angels, your ministry spirit, begin to fill this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them be, as your people will come again to your presence. 
Daddy Jehovah, let your power fall powerfully. There shall be transformation. There will be testimonies. The people will confess. The others will testify of your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We praise you, Daddy Jehovah. You alone are worthy. You alone deserve all the praises, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In the same spirit, we continue to praise your name, O Lord. We continue to praise your name, Abba Father. We continue to praise your name, Almighty. We continue to praise your name, Jehovah. We continue to praise your name, Yahweh. We continue to praise your name, you are Jehovah the Creator. Lord God, for you created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1. You created the heavens and the earth. And eventually you created all of us. So we are to worship you. We are to praise your name. We are to glorify your name. Lord God, you should not leave, leave us by. We have come here to the house of God, to World Mission International Worship Center, where good things happen. We have come here today to worship your name celebrate your praise Lord God without you we would not be here we thank you for the breath we thank you for being alive we thank we are grateful for and thankful for very many things we are thankful and grateful for good health Lord God we pray that those who are still on the way those who are still coming here will come here safely they will not have any accidents on the way. They will come here safely. They will, the driver or whoever is bringing them here will drive safely. We pray, Father, for those who are worshiping us at home, those who are unable to make it here, basically sometimes for the geographical distance. We pray that if they are following us on their laptops or on their mobile phones, they follow us smoothly and they don't have any problems we pray father that those who are also on the way and are rounding up certain things like work or other things they should round it up and join us and come for the celebration because you're great because you're worthy father we pray unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to this earth to wash away our sins and to grant us salvation. If not of your coming, there will be no hope for us. So we are very grateful that you have given us hope and you are a very merciful God. You have shown us mercy from the beginning of our lives up until this particular moment, you continue to show us mercy. We pray unto you, we pray unto you, Lord God, to continue to show us mercy and to show us grace. We pray for the event today, that the event should move smoothly. We pray that you bring in the Holy Spirit. We invite the Holy Spirit to come and administer here today. We pray, Lord God, that the event, the service, should move on smoothly. We are very grateful for you and for what you have been doing for us in our lives individually and in this ministry in general. For all our viewers across the world, we pray that you touch their lives, that you bless them, because you are a merciful God. You are a good God. You are a loving God. Lord God, you are a good God. You show your grace. You show your mercy. You show that we are your children and you are our Heavenly Father. You are our Heavenly Father. We are the sons and daughters of God. We pray, Father, that you come into our lives today and open our ears. Let us listen to the message from the servant of God. Let us participate in the deliberation of the service. Let us engage in the worship of your name. We pray, Lord God, that any miracles that we were expecting 
will be able to access those miracles. We pray that our lives should be transformed. We pray that your word should not come and go back empty. We pray that as we come here today, we should not go back the same. We pray that those who have any sickness should go back here. We pray that those who have any burden should go back life. We pray that we come here and we leave our burdens at your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to pray as the man of God was just praying this morning. Let's continue to lift up the name of the Lord this morning. Let us appreciate God that He has made possible for us to be in His presence. It's not something that we think that we are we take it for granted. The hand of God has raised upon our life and the life of our family because we can see so many want to be in the same position as we here today and there are no way to be found. Let us continue to appreciate God for what he has done last week, for what he's doing today and what he's about to do for this week that is starting in the name of Jesus. If you don't have anything to say to the Lord, just, just close your eyes and see where God has taken us as far as today. Even as you're walking, as you're driving, if you God can open our eyes and see what he has taken us away from accident or any kind of thing that you cannot imagine. It's only by his grace that we are here this morning. So let us appreciate the Lord for the bottom of your heart. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. The Bible tells us that God, Jesus healed 10 leprosies. Only one went back to him to appreciate him and Jesus made him whole. So don't be that the nine lepers that are left without appreciating God. Just think what God has done for you and your family. You will be so thankful that you are standing on your feet this morning because God was so great to us, so wonderful to us, so wonderful to our family. He preserved our children when they're going to school. He preserved ourselves when we're going to work. He preserved your work. He preserved your family back home. Even when you know it's your prayer that's sustaining those in your family that I have now received salvation. So you have all the reason to appreciate him this morning. Appreciate God this morning. Appreciate him this morning. Appreciate him. He started asking. God is one people that appreciate him first. To be thankful unto him this morning. Oh Father, we thank you Lord. We give you all the glory and all the honor. What a great and mighty God you are. What an awesome God you are. We are so thankful unto you Lord Jesus. You made possible for us to be here this morning. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for not allowing the plan of the enemy to prevail over our life. Thank you that sickness and disease will not apportion. Thank you when we're not taking an emergency room, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love and our conscious love, regardless of who we are, Lord. This morning we just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. Receive our gratitude for the bottom of our heart, Lord Jesus. We just want to say thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you for your presence, oh God. Thank you for your presence. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, there's liberty. In your presence, there's breakthrough. In your presence, there's healing. In your presence, you can have whatever you ask God. Only in His presence, not outside of the presence of God. The Bible says, are two or three are gathered. You'll be in, a, in His name, you'll be in a midst. So let the presence of God be in a midst today. It's not about us. It's not about anybody, but it's about His presence that will take place this morning. Everything that will take place is the presence of God that will sustain us, that will help us. Let us call upon the Holy Spirit. He's our helper. He's our guide. It's what God said that you wait upon the Holy Spirit and you will receive anything that you want. Holy Spirit, take charge this morning. Take charge, Holy Spirit. Take charge, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the same spirit, we just want to thank God once more for the plan of today, for what He will do during this, this event, this morning, that the Lord will usher us, oh God, to that great event today in the name of Jesus. Just want to uh, ask to lift up our voice and just 
start just acknowledge the presence of God upon our life this morning and thank Him, oh God, for this month of April. I don't know what we are expecting this month, but that we are here to just acknowledge the presence of God and just thank Him for what He already He have done for for us for the first for the first month of the the first month of the year we just want to appreciate God for the month of January February March and April and for the remaining of the year we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we acknowledge his presence once more we know he's here with us we know he's impacting us we know he is here this morning in the name of Jesus father we give you all the glory we give you all the glory once more. Thank you, oh Father, for those that are on the way, Lord. Bring them here safely in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit, oh, oh God, this event in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, that we commit all the musicians, oh God. We commit all our super choir, oh God. With every, everything that will take place this morning. In the name of Jesus, uh, we cover the word of Jesus. In the name, we we, we, co we cover the the ministration of God that will take place today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. In the, ma in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. 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 Here I am to worship, here I am to bow, here I am to say you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together
the bread. God does not need your, your rice. God does not need your money. He needs your bread. That's why scripture says, let everything that has bread, praise the Lord. You have bread this morning, you're going to praise Him. Praise Him with a shout, with a dance. Forget about yourself. It's only abandon me. Don't bother about who is looking at you. Amen. Amen. Praise goes up. The blessings come down. God inhabit the praises of His people. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy are you Lord, all creation, all you have.
lead us in two minutes prayers we're still standing everyone amen we're going into a moment of intercession and i want to call on a few persons to come and lead us minister Anne, please come forward you're going to be leading us in two minutes of prayers uh uh, Sister Rose, you're gonna come and Rose, you're gonna lead us in two minutes. Mrs. Sue, thank you. God bless you. Um, Miss Bridget, you're gonna come lead us for two minutes of prayers. Where is Nicky Romeo? Is he here? Oh, he's not here. I saw somebody. Oh, I was mistaken. All right, Pastor Bayan, please come and lead us in two minutes of prayers. Amen. And Miss Miriam, come and lead us in two minutes of prayers. This should be fire, fire, power prayer. Amen. Amen. There's no lasting. There's no slowing down. The enemy hates us. And therefore, we must tell him that he don't belong here. Amen. Amen. We must pray with power and fire and everything. God bless you as you pray. Amen. For praying should have the mic and the rest of the people should um Amen. Amen. <laughs> we are going to pray. Whoever is seeking help from evil spirits and mediums in order to deceive me or influence me in any way possible, Lord, I take it away. Whoever wants to deceive you, taking your name to mediums, to juju people, take it away, open your mouth, and it's a good affair, declare it. Right now, my father, my father, wherever they have taken my name to, whoever wants to influence me, which practice in the village, in the town, in the city, in the community, under the waters, wherever they take my name, oh God, for evil, I take it away in the name of Jesus. I take it away in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil they are planning against me, against this church, against the matter of one picture, I take it away in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil, whatever they go, call it our name, call it this church, call it this assembly, we take it away. For evil, we take it away. Every evil, every evil planning against us, every evil planning against our family, against our children, against our spouses, we take it away in the name of Jesus, against our lives, every influence of the devil, against
distract you from your blessings. Anything that is trying to take you away from the salvation of God. Lord, take that in the way in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, you, Lord, you take that thing away. Take that thing away. Any form of distraction that is trying to distract your attention away from the things of God. Father, take that thing away. Father, take that thing away. In the name of Jesus. Anything that will take you to hell. Lord, take that thing away. Hey, Holy Spirit, God, you for us. Clear the road. Make every mountain plain. And every cook and master. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we are blessed. We are covered. We are sanctified. We dwell in the shadow, under the shadow of the Almighty. Hey, the Bible says in Psalm 91, verse 1, it says, Do you dwell under the shadow of the Almighty? Shall I abide under the shadows of, of God? Lord, we pray that we let us continue to abide under your shadow. And nothing by any means should take us under the shadow. Nothing by any means should take us under the shadow of God. Nothing by any means should distract us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every plan of the enemy. We rebuke every, anything, any form of distraction, anything that is of the flesh. We bind that thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. In the same manner, let's continue to pray. We are going to look at this time. Our prayer point is, whatever is causing fear and pain in my life and hurt in my heart, Lord, take it away. What has held you down, brothers and sisters? The Bible tells us in the book of Timothy that the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity. He has given us a spirit of sound mind. He has given us a spirit of braveness. Let's begin to tell that power that has caused us pain, that thing that is hurting us within, that thing that each time we think of it, we are even unable to appreciate the goodness of the Lord in our life. Let's begin to pray at this time. The Bible says we bring our pain onto the altar of the Lord and he will take it away. My brothers and sisters, may we begin to lift up our voice at this time as we lay our bodies. That pain, is it at your job place? Is it in your family? What is it that is causing you that pain? Begin to lift it down to the hands of the Lord and the Lord will take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, we come again into your presence. That thing that has caused us pain in our life, Lord, we lay it down to your worshiping you. Spain will not stop us from knowing you. Spain will not stop us from preaching your gospel. Oh, my son, everlasting father, because you have said, when you are for us, who can be against us? You are the winner man of every battle. And so as we come again into your presence, Father, we decree and we declare, fear is not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear is not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has caused us pain, we are taking it away now in the mighty name we are no longer slaves to pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rama keto kora kana yana makote ke sabora boza. Reme kete ke se mere kete ke saka. For the world God is here with us. The Lord is always there. My brothers and sisters, do not be overtaken by the problems in life. For the Lord has given you victory. The Lord is our conqueror. And every battle begin to lay at the feet of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. investment. Lord, take it away. What are you believing God for? Are you investing in something? This is a time to pray that whoever wants to stand against that investment, tell the Lord today, take it away. Church prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hey, this is my prayer topic. I want to thank you, Lord. Whoever, whosoever wants to Lord, take it away. Lord, take it away. 
take it away. Thank you, Jesus, because now we know you are going to give us results. We are going to see the manifestation of this investment. There will be money in the name of Jesus. Lord, take everything that will stop this investment from going. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we still in the spirit of prayer. Hallelujah. Whatever wants to take the glory and the presence of God from me, Lord, take it away. We know that if you don't have the presence of God, you are vulnerable. You are the mercy of the enemy. That nothing can you pray, you can receive it. It's only in his presence. When every time the Israel didn't have the glory of God, they were defeated. So say, Lord, you will not be my portion in the name of Jesus. No one will take the glory of God from me of my family in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it today in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, I will not be a cup of my family in the name of Jesus. My presence will not be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be under the shadow of the mighty God. The presence shall be with me, O oh God, every day of my life, whenever I go, whenever I do. Lord Jesus, your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence, no evil, no enemy, no witchcraft, no wizards, no enemy, no Jezebel will take your presence away from me. In the name of Jesus, you will not take the presence from me. My glory, my family, my house, oh Jesus, take, take control, take control, oh God, take control, take it away.
Hallelujah. I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great and great to
be a day for your salvation. Bonke gave us a testimony. That's it, that Bonke. He had a big crusade, I think, in Lagos somewhere. This gentleman came right there in front with a girlfriend. Bonke preached and made an altar call. The girl tried to go to give her life, the boy pulled her back. And according to the ushers, the boy told the girl, if you repent, I'll leave you. But the girl sat back. While they were still praying for those who came out to give their life, the boy and the girl, the boy and the man went out to cross the road. The, the girl and the, and the boyfriend left and the car crushed the girl. The girl died there. The man ran back to the crusade and gave his life. Mm. How sad is that? When the man said that the girl is dead, she, he now ran to the crusade and got saved while the girl went to hell. Don't allow anybody to distract you from what God is doing here today. Amen. Keep standing, please. We have one of my sons who is a prophet from Cameroon. I've been preaching here from Wednesday till yesterday. And today we'll be preaching here in 40, you have just 35 minutes. Okay. I'll tell you. <laughs> Amen. To be here as a good church, if you are in Boya, hear about Jesus Army, you know, that is his ministry. He got a very clean building in Boya, very clean. I, well, I like each other because when I go there, it looked clean. I don't like the team. Man. Yes, clean building. Amen. He's been preaching for all over the world. And um, the wife is now in Canada as a missionary for this, this week like this. Amen. So let's clap and welcome <laughs> Prophet Samuel Tanya, please. Jesus, let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus better than that. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Daddy and Mommy. Let's celebrate the Bishop. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say, God, answer me today. Do not pass me by. All right, begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray. Same song that low in strings, strings, the same song. Eight. 
And it went to go, and it fell on the day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as often as he passed by, he turned on Tida to eat bread. And she said unto her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is an holy man of God which passeth by, by us continually. Let us make him a chamber, I pray thee, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table, and a stool and a candlestick, and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in Peter to eat bread. Amen. We shall skip to a certain verse. Verse 13, let's get verse 13. Want to go, and he said unto him, Say unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? Wouldest thou be spoken of to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among my own people. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. What shall be done to you? That is an open check that the man of God gave to the woman. What shall be done to you? Behold, you have taken care of us. You have partnered with us all this while. What shall be done for you? Amen? This day God is asking somebody a question. What shall be done for you? Hallelujah. Amen. Very often in the Pentecostal body of Christ today, we, we pray for people like all these days who have been praying. Prophetically, we pray for the sick, we pray for the dead, we pray for the dying, we pray for those that are bound. But most often we forget to pray for partners. There are people who are genuinely born again so much so that when they see the work of God happening somewhere, they always want to partner. And I have grown up in that culture that whenever I see a program coming up where I see the move of God with my uh, church or spiritual authorities, I always go and partner. I'm not just the one who always goes to lift up hands alone, only to lift up hands and say, I receive, I receive. I always find out what to do. And this was the attitude of this woman. The Bible says Elisha was going to always go and minister, do missionary work somewhere, but the Bible doesn't tell us the names of the people or reveals where he was always going to preach. And because they never knew what to do to contain the anointing. But somebody in the middle way, where Elisha was always passing, knew what to do. And that is called the power of partnership. And the person will always say, the man of God, come and get something to eat. Partnering with the anointing. And after a while, the woman said to her husband, I perceive this is a holy man of God. Even if you don't believe it, I believe it. Let's not only get to the level of giving him daily bread. Let's build an apartment for him and furnish it. And then they did it. And the next time Elisha was going for his missionary work, wherever he was going to, which the anointing did not produce any result in that area, because the people did not know the power of partnership. Next time when Elisha was going for his missionary work, he stopped to eat bread and they said, no, you will not just eat here. Come, come upstairs. Come to your own apartment. And they handed him his own room, his own apartment, well furnished. And that provoked a certain level of anointing in the life of Elisha. I want you to know that there are some things that will happen to you because they prayed for you. There are some things that will happen to you because you belong to church. And there are some things that will happen because you partner. What is to happen because you partner will never happen otherwise. It will never happen just because you over prayed or because you were faithful in church. And so some people are faithful in church, but they don't know the power of partnership. And now, a miracle that had never happened in this woman's life when she was in her natural phase, where it should happen. Like she was barren. But when she was still young, this miracle never happened. But now, in the power of partnership, it became possible after she partnered. There is a level of platform you can raise and which can make a miracle to happen that is beyond your level of qualification. Are you understanding? Like it can be a career miracle, a financial miracle, a job miracle, 
beyond your level of qualification. There is a level of partnership you can raise that can cause, uh, that, that you can live in, that you can engage, that can cause the grace of God to bypass all principalities and powers that fight against you. Is someone understanding what I'm saying? Yes. And then they call her and say, well, you have been so kind to us. What do you want? I believe that is what the grace of God is asking us here tonight. This day. What do you want from this grace? Amen. I've seen our father move from country to country. And recently our father came to Cameroon. And the hotel bills alone was more than 3 million francs. Wow. I was in the middle of doing the protocol work and everything. And I saw what was happening taking care of the international guests that came from Nigeria and everything, taking care of everything. And then the offering that came from the program, they gave it back to the church. And say, well, let the church use this one. But he took care of every bill, of every speaker that came, including himself and the hotel. And then he tells us that it's because he is a sower and he has partners. He has people that when he, once he declares that, oh, this is what I, have, I want to do, the people will respond. I want to pray for such people here today. I thank God for the grace God has given some of us. I operate in the prophetic anointing. And one thing about the prophetic anointing is that it is sharp. Sometimes we pray and things happen immediately or instantly or within a short period of time. Last week I was preaching in a certain church here. I was pre preaching in a different church here last week from Thursday, from Friday to Sunday. And there is a lady that met me that I prophesied to her that uh, about her job and she had been looking for a job for long and I spoke to her and I said within 11 days you are getting a job and she just called me yesterday it's not even say man of God it's not even up to 11 days a job I applied for they have just called me to come and start working on Monday it's Monday of tomorrow Amen. hallelujah Amen. and it is a good job better than even what she was looking for I prophesy to somebody here, your promotion is coming this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Doors are opening for you. Yeah. And we look at this woman's situation, the Shunammite woman. A period came in her life when the baby that she had by this prophecy, by her level of partnership, the child died. The Bible says one day just got up and the child cried headache and the child died. Now you come to look at it. She was the strength of the family. Her husband was the weakness of the family. And sometimes, God, uh, Satan is looking for the slightest loophole to pass and attack the family. And then when she saw that the child has died, thank God she still had a relationship with her prophet. She took the child and put on the bed of the man of God and went to ask her husband for a vehicle. In those days, it was horses or donkeys. Give me a donkey, I want to go and see the man of God. And you see now the mindset of the husband. Why do you want to go and see the prophet? Is today a Sabbath? It means it's today a church day. Is today Sunday? People who don't have relationship with their prophet. Is today a Sabbath? She said, no, uh, just, it's all well. She said, it is well. Just give me the donkey I've asked for. She knows if she reveals to the husband that this child is no longer breathing, the husband will take to the hospital, from the hospital to the mortuary or to burial. She knows the faith level of the man, so she doesn't want to relate at that level. Just give me the donkey. And then she went and fell before the feet of the man of God because she understands divine principles. That the same company that can produce a Toyota must have spare part for that Toyota. Yes. The same grace that could give this child must have a spare life for that child. Amen. And she provoked the anointing. I want to prophesy to someone, whatever has not happened by your prayer and fasting is happening today. Amen. I am praying for those that understand the principle of partnership. Let the grace of God manifest in your life today. Let the heavens open for whatever you have not seen before, you begin to see after this season. Yeah. And we are looking also at the life of Elijah. And Elijah, the Bible says, God sent Elijah to a widow, a, a, a widow woman to sustain him. But the woman did not understand that God has sent a man of God. And when the man of God said, from what you have, first give me the food to eat before you eat. Because she declared her, her own death. She said, I have the last meal. Let me prepare me and my, my child, my son. We eat and then we die. If they had eaten that without partnering with the prophet, they should have died. But once they partnered and the prophet came under their roof, the Bible says food kept appearing in that woman's house. But that was not the, the only miracle. The Bible says while Elijah was still living in that house, that woman's son died. Now we understand why God sent Elijah to that house. 
Because there was a day of trouble that was coming to that woman's life that the woman did not know. And Elijah had to prophetically force the woman to partner so that it will cover for the day of trouble. I, I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there are some bridges you should never cut. If God uses a man of God, especially your own spiritual authority, to be a blessing to you, avoid going beside people that talk against those kind of people or people that will cause you to burn those bridges. Because the fact that you have received something today, you don't know that you need maintenance for that thing more than you needed the thing. Who has a car here that never does maintenance for the car? Who has a vehicle that you never change oil, you never add fuel, nothing, nothing. From the day you bought your vehicle, you are only driving, 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 you've never done maintenance. I pray for you this day. Every day of trouble coming to your life is scattered today. The anointing on this altar is arranging it now. And the plans the evil has planned for you, the plan that evil has planted for you, it will not manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to stand up, let's pray. We have five minutes of prophetic moments. Just rise up, let's pray. I see something, the spirit of delay and stagnation being cancelled. Some people have been on one level for long, even though you are working hard. I want you to pray and say, in the name of Jesus, let delay be cancelled from my life now. Let stagnation be taken away from my life now. All right, pray that prayer now, pray that prayer now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. There are three people here God is showing me. God is about to cancel a funeral from your life and family. As you lift up your hands, I'm going to go into more details. Father, thank you for what you're doing. Let your grace be made manifest. There is someone who is like, I see you in the working environment where you are, you are like a nurse. And a few days ago, not too long ago, we disagree. Not too long ago, this person who is like a nurse, so nursing aide or something, nurse kind of something, in your working environment, one of these days you had something like an airtight. You felt something blocked your throat or your lungs. You had some malaise and a bit of breathing difficulties for a while. And I saw you pleading the blood of Jesus and praying. And then you prayed, and after a while, you became fine. But that happened in your working environment some days back. I want to pray for that person. I want to pray for that person. If you are here, you can come quickly. Something happened that almost gave you airtight. You had short breath for a period, like a couple of seconds or minutes. And this is somebody who is like a nurse. And this was during work time, like your, your working environment. I want to pray for that person. The attack that the enemy sent I saw an attack that came straight to your chest. I want to pray because there is something that is about to happen which will be, become more intense and it may, it may lead to a negative end. And there is another person that is listening to me. In the month of February and March, you dreamt about two times that your family gathered back at home, wherever home is. Your family gathered for something like a burial. This dream has come like twice. We want to cancel that spirit of death. This dream has come like twice. Like February and March. That dream. And, and uh, to one of the persons, even your relative also told you. Even some other person also said it. One other person told you. I either called you or wrote you on WhatsApp. I had this kind of dream. I had this kind of dream. And there is fear. Because the enemy has already programmed it and put a barrier somewhere. The enemy has already programmed it. What are you coming out for, my dear? Yeah, what, what is the prophecy bringing you out? Yeah. Yes. A dream. You dreamed about your mother. When and when did you have that, have that dream? Three days ago. Yeah. 
The volume mm -hmm. of that mic is too low, I guess. Yeah. It was like three days ago, so when yeah. I came, I saw myself like in my mother's paternal. You saw yourself like in your mother's paternal yes. compound? Yes. So last month, your, your younger sister said she dreamt she about that. Uh -huh. So yesterday I was coming back from one of my meetings. Can you hold the mic like this? Oh, yeah. Yesterday I was coming back from one of my meetings and then I got a call from back home saying that my mother was having a stroke. And you got so the call that she was having a stroke. Let me talk to her. I couldn't talk to her because her tongue was tight. She couldn't pronounce her words. So her right. tongue was tight. Her tongue was tight. So I rushed back home. Was oh, for okay, so we save time. So this okay. is the prophecy. This is one of the prophecies concerning the spirit of death. And your mother just had a stroke yesterday. She we were praying and crying this morning. Like she was up and then she was like, I'm fine. I'm having breakfast. Okay. But she was still in the hospital. Okay, she's still in the hospital. Though. The enemy wanted to take that life. We yeah. cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone celebrate God for that. <laughs> Let's hear from our lady. Amen. Okay, let, let, let the evangelist uh, hold the mic for you. In Atlanta, Georgia called me and said, uh, they blame me because they said around my house. And the text, I see how the text on my phone, so he asked me to, to look for some men of God to pray for me. Um, he told me that was a very moment here in December 30, one of our friends had a uh, heart attack and died. He was buried last month. He told me that he saw the same type of a dream like that. He called it. Amen. The guy, the the guy didn't take it serious. Um, that's the same okay, dream. The that same person who had a dream about that, that guy who died December 31st told the guy that the guy didn't take it serious. He said, Talk that's the same person who had a dream about you. Yeah, so okay. he said I should. Uh, should look for a strong man of God to pray for yeah, you. You are he, in the right place. He sent me he sent me the text. So Are you a I, member here? <coughs> no. Okay. So I call my sister back home who is a born again and uh, I don't believe the truth is I'm not in all the speech of churches. So but my family they are all in God all those type of things. But I have my own uh my own feeling I know what is good and what is bad. I don't have nobody, I don't I don't think anything negative to anybody. That's the way I operate. Evil so is I, evil. So evil I people call, must not attack you because you did something. I evil call, people attack even good people. I call my sister and All right, let's, let's, let's cut my the sister story told short, me please. that uh, he was attending a post on the church. He took away his people, but he knew he's funny. I'm about to call him, so okay, I great. call him. I talked to him the same day. He prayed for me and come and visit him in my house. Yeah, he came with some people and started to to me from there. He found me here. Uh, that was around January. Amen. You are delivered today from the spirit of death. Amen. Amen. For this uh, lady here, I'm seeing their mother that they had already put in the grave for you. I saw this an arrow of the spirit of death attacking you. And it had to attack you, it had to start with something like uh, something with your blood, either sugar or blood pressure, and then things like that, and leads to a stroke, and then later on, things will go. Was, but God is delivering you today. Amen. Amen. So today, decide to serve God in this time. Amen? Amen. Decide to serve God in this time that you have met Him. Amen. Let's lift up our hands and pray. Like the other case, I hope uh, those who are watching online, I said the first, I said there were, there were three cases God was handling. We may not have time to prophesy a lot to a lot of people, but we use this one now to pray for every other person. I saw a nurse someone who works as a nurse that had attacks with breathing not long ago person had attacks and that was especially in the working environment may god have mercy on that person if that is a member that was supposed to be in church here today may god have mercy on that person Amen. but that attack was supposed to come again to that person and take away the person's life but we cancel it now in the name of jesus Amen. lift up your hands everybody as we pray and god showed me somebody that had had something a quotation a citation about your kidney spoken to you and they prescribe you a lot of water some time ago they said drink two to three liters of water per day and the symptoms have started coming again 
and I saw the enemy is about to shut down the both kidneys of that person and take that person to an early grave. But God is bringing deliverance upon that life now. Amen. Whoever that person is, if you are here, you come forward. Any diagnosis, any previous diagnosis with the kidney, and they gave some treatment and some preventive, like something about drinking a lot of water. And uh, something wants to happen again. And the la last person I want to talk to now, I saw someone in your dream, you were fighting with a serpent. In your dream. And that almost happened most often when you are close to a breakthrough. There is something about fighting with a snake. There is a snake that has been haunting you. And you have seen that even recently. A serpent came to you. Or you almost got beaten by a serpent in the dream or something like that. I want to pray with that person. You can come forward quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch forth our hands towards these people. If you are coming, come quickly. We don't really have time. Come quickly. Yes, what are you coming out for? I had a dream where I was like fighting with a snake. But okay. like I was praying against it. It and I grabbed the snake by its neck. Sorry? I grabbed the snake you by its neck. You grabbed the snake by its neck. Okay, great. I want to pray for you because this is not something normal. This is a spiritual attack, and this is trying to follow you. This serpent is affecting, is attacking, there to attack many things in your life. Career and family. Career and family. Those are the domains where you have a serious prayer topic. Career and family, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody straight forth your hands towards these people. Let's pray and deliver them. I speak deliverance now. We speak deliverance from the spirit of witchcraft. We speak deliverance from the spirit of death. Everybody pray, pray with authority, pray with authority. standing if you know you have been a partner to world mission projects and the, and the projects of our bishop lift up your hand let me bless you let me release a word of blessing to your life you know you have been one of the financial partners when he's traveling to for missions and other things you have been one of the partners lift up your hand let me bless you now lift up your two hands right above your head the kind of miracle this woman received miracles beyond beyond your qualification i'm releasing it into your life now i speak to you that have been sacrificing out of the much or little that you have been earning as you have been a faithful partner i speak the prophetic anointing upon your life now let the grace of god be released upon the works of your hands let there be abundance in the name of jesus amen all right put down your hands I'm, I'm led today to pray for partners for this program. You know, every program entails great financial responsibilities and partners for the work of God. Hallelujah. I'm led to pray for partners. Everybody just stand up. Just stand up again on your feet. Just stand up again on your feet. I'm led to pray for those who have in mind to partner with what is happening. I will pray for a few partners and not everybody is partnering. I pray for a few and those who have in mind to be partners as from this day onward. Just lift up your hand, let me pray for you. You have in mind to be partners. In whatever way, Bishop is going to be telling us how we're going to partner. You have in mind to partner. I'm not calling you out to come and give anything now. I just say that is your mindset. You have in mind that from today, I will start to partner. Lift up your hand, let me bless you. I'm not calling you out to come and give money. I'm not calling you out to come and partner. Lift up your hand as I bless you. I release the blessings of God upon your life. As you decide to engage the platform of partnership, 
those difficult situations in your life they are resolved now in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. anyone who is sick lift up your hands as i pray for you anyone who is sick any kind of sickness any sickness challenge infirmity and also on behalf of someone very close to you maybe your biological offspring or something or partner lift up your hand right above your head i rebuke sickness i rebuke infirmity i rebuke affliction every sickness i rebuke it now in the name of jesus every attack of the enemy upon your health let it die now let it die now in the mighty name of jesus amen I want you to pray this prayer. Say, I will not die young, but I will live to declare the glory of the Lord. Make that prayer for 60 seconds now. I will not die young, but I will live to declare the glory of the Lord. Jesus, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. I just close your eyes. Pray for your family. We live in a very dangerous time in this uh, generation. It takes God to keep your family safe. One of our members who was in DC was carrying a young baby of five, a young girl of five in the arm, and a stray bullet came from outside hit the child, right in his living room. So let's pray for your family members who are in Africa, in Asia, in Europe. Let's pray for God to keep them safe. Not, it's not because you are smart, you are very strong, you know. Recent some friends who are parliamentarians just got attacked like that. Let's ask God to keep you safe. Raise your voice, let's pray. Lord, we give you thanks for what you are doing, O oh God. Son of God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. The God that blesses his people will live by the grace of God. I glorify you, Jesus. Have your way, O oh God. Bless this service. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Have a seat, please. Before we go to a second part of the consecration, now, this is world nation. Our heart is for the nations of the world. I got born again, 1984, in a place called Motengene as a student in Ombe in 1984. And after two years, I went to Bible College in, full gospel Bible College in my Queen. I've been a pastor since 1989, preaching all over the world. I was in Germany and then God gave me a call for missions. You see behind here, that is well mission hospital going on. Right now they are working on the on the just finishing the, the painting. We need we need 30 beds in that hospital right now. 30 hospital beds. At the contacts of Dr. Abba, who is in charge of the place, to ship a container of medication, you need us thirty thousand dollars to ship that container medication to take care of people who are suffering in Camaro right now. Yeah. And um, for those who know me, we sponsor our events in Africa. All my conferences, we don't pay fees. I just came to Cameroon last, last two weeks, and I'm flying on Tuesday to see the, those who are the uh, refugees in Oron, in Nigeria, on Tuesday next week. Yeah, most of them are Christians from Mamfe, from Kuro Titi, they're all there now. So I got a team, I'm flying on Tuesday to Nigeria 
but they need, they need real help. Real help. And I do this to people like you who are able to who feel for missions. But right now, we need this to be operating. I've got a team of five doctors and ten nurses and midwives that are ready to begin work, but we still need some few things to be done. We need 30 hospital, hospital beds. And I checked to get one hospital bed here is like four thousand dollars. <laughs> it's not cheap. Man. So this morning I want us to give an offering to God for this. Because you know, I go to Cameroon three times in one year. I was in Mozambique in July. I'm going to Uganda also this year, July, with rich nations. Just bought land in Mozambique to build a school there also. Got land in Kenya, Momas, build a church there also. Our heart is for the nations of the world. So if you are here today, you feel with those who are dispersed, those who are sick. The young girl was sponsoring, I went to see her. You can't believe. I banged, I banged us again. She has a room with 17, 17 people. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I mean, one room in Tico, 17 of them. They put a captain on the floor. <laughs> I mean, you look funny, you are there, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So people are suffering. Right now, I'm trying to listen to some girls in Douala from Cuba. These 10 girls have a hotel room. They sleep in one hotel room, they, they deny, they go out for position. That's all they do. They say, Bishop, what can we do? Job, application, uh, what, what can we do? So I thought of what to do, it's okay. Some say, okay, you can, shell, you can sell the sheets. It's okay, I can, I didn't send the money to buy, go and buy the sheets, move around and, and try to sell, some say want to sell shoes. So it's not easy for us to, like pastors who are moving to Africa right now to touch these needs. Amen. But this morning I want you to give God a hundred dollars for this project. I can give 200, a hundred dollar minimum. Let's uh, buy some beds that your name will be there that I also got a bed. You, because you can be in Cameroon and you find yourself in the hospital. Amen. You'll be happy to get a good place. Because here we have good nurses like um, uh, Anne Terminal, they'll be going there for missionary work. The pharmacist is there behind. Sandra is a pharmacist, they'll be going there for mission work. We got uh, Pastor Bayang here, he's a nurse also. Maybe we retired there, helping, helping those people there on, on missions. <laughs> and then, we got my wife is also a nurse. So it'll be a center that people living from here and going to assist in that place. Amen. So I want to give you, I want to pray for those who want to give, okay, for this. They are not giving for some food, you know. I don't just give food to people. I pay school fees. I'll teach them to do hairdressing. We were in a church last, is it three weeks ago? How much did you give to that young girl? You know the amount that came out? I just saw a young girl there, okay. okay. I mean, she had many children. Six children. What do you do? Nothing. What? <laughs> Six children. She ran from where? Mayuka and his boy are now. Six children. No job. How do you feed? He said, Bishop, you don't understand. Yeah. So some people are going through pain and we so I just raised one fifty thousand we gave to her to start a business and she's very happy. That was three weeks ago. Amen. I was there for 10 days, I spent like $15,000. Because, you don't have a hotel, they just come up by one for consultation. They bring other problems, and they have genuine, genuine, and I found out that, you know, Miss Miller, I found out, to pay a girl to do hairdressing for one month is like $4,000. Not expensive. 4,000 4, francs, CFA. Like $8, $8. $8 a month to pay to do hairdressing, eh? Sorry? I mean, you can negotiate. 5,000 is like, you know, I negotiate for 4,000 for a young girl to sit and do what? Bed dressing for two years. After that, we buy her a dryer and they're happy. You see that? So they're happy. When I go there, we just bless this girl. So they're very, very happy with us. 
Amen. So you want to give a hundred dollar, please start up for this project, please. Let me pray for you, please. God bless you. Come and say, please. Come and say, I can pray for you. Do you have a cash of a Zelle on the screen, please? Oh, um, you have a cap machine also, okay? We are giving for this. That's our offering, okay? We we'll give this. This is our offering now, okay? We'll take time at the end, okay? Yeah, so you want to give a hundred dollar, please? Come and join it, please, for this. I didn't say $1,000, okay? Just a hundred dollar for this, okay? Yeah. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah, you know, there's no guest here. All our guests, join this, okay? Let's let's help meet this need, okay? Keep coming, please, keep coming, please, keep coming, please. Hallelujah, Jesus. Keep coming faster, please, keep coming, keep coming. Let's pray for you, okay? Amen. We need at least, at least 20 of you, okay, that can help us, okay? God bless you, God bless you. I like a church that are doing some tangible things to help people, okay? Yeah, so we are we are changing lives of people. I'm not just here to get some good living. Which any other person please go and pray, please. Keep coming, please. Pastor, please. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you. At least three more persons can join this team for 100, please. God bless you, God bless you. Hey, just rise my cup. Just, just, it's not a big deal. Keep coming, please. Don't miss a chance to bless. Because, um, like when I reach, I'm going to fly to Lagos. I spend a the night there, they start flying to Mori, and then the team come to see me there. They, their stories are very touch, heart touching. And somebody like us can change somebody's life. Bless you, one more person. I mean, how I many do you have here, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, I think so. Let's do at least twenty. Nineteen, one more, please. One more person, please, to make twenty. Anybody can sacrifice order dollar to make us twenty persons. Stand up, please, join them. God oh, bless you, please. Amen. Come closer, please. Come closer. Come closer, please. Come closer. God oh, bless you. Hallelujah. Let me just, uh, I will end, baby. Let me try the next team for $50. $50. But give $50 offering today for this project. Come and join the place. Or just start up. Yes, what? You want to give $50 for this project? Stand up, please. Let's um, join the place. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Keep going faster, faster, please, faster, please. The reason for a church is to solve human problems. I don't need to preach, preach, preach. I want to change lives, you know. So come and join the place. Um, join them faster, please. Let me show you. Um, Last week I was in Cameroon because we're changing lives of students there. I went there for graduation of students and they were so happy that most of them were scholarships. So that's what we're building now, also in Boya. It's a faculty for our bachelor students in Moleko Mayor Street. Amen. We want to help students learn in a good environment. Not just talk, 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 but changing lives. Amen. And that's what, we, that's what our money is going for, impacting generations, raising up sons and daughters around it. Want to join? $50, please join them, please. $50, please. Any other person? Okay. Let me call Pastor Patrick, please. Just come and bless. You can give after this to Kasha Bozell. Amen. And um, Father, we thank you, we give you praise. Father, you the one that gave the only begotten Son your best just to save the world. And you made us ambassadors 
here on earth. And Lord, I want to pray especially for your grace of multiplication upon these ambassadors that is helping to take your gospel across the world from touching the needy in places where the government can't reach. And Lord, today, oh God, whatever is a hindrance in their finances, Lord, I command it to be taken out in the name of Jesus, that from today they will work in increase, they work in abundance, the heavens will be open over their lives, and whatever they touch, wherever the source of their income, of their livelihood is, oh God, will receive multiplication in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. So God bless you, please. You can give to Kasha Bazel. So the number is on the screen. What to give with, 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 a card, with a card, Visa card, MasterCard. It's a machine here, please. You can give then. What to give to Cash, okay? It's time to collect our tithe and offering. We will come uh, to the Jewish place to lead us for our tithe and offering. You can call those who need to give their tithe. Come outside and pray for them. Then you can pray for those who give their offering. And then we get our announcements and then go into our procession of our candidates for donation today. It's a Thanksgiving. Okay, before that, please. Okay. After the offering, please. Go ahead the offering, please. Okay. God bless you. Hallelujah. So we we call upon those who have jobs. Amen. As Bishop always said, if you have a job, you have a tight. Amen. If you have a tight today, can you please rise and come? Come straight. Any tighter in the house today? So even if you have sent your tie to to Zell or Cash Up, you can still come in and we we'll still pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. For your children that come came today, oh God. They are brought the tent. Lord, we decree that they will you will replenish for them in the name of Jesus. That the source of income shall multiply in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you will bless them, oh God, in a greater way, Lord. Whatever because they are sacrificing today, Lord, you will empower the finances in them. Father, you will bless them tremendously in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you, O God, because they have shown interest, O God, in your kingdom, Lord. Father, may you bless those that we give next week. You bless those that we send by cash up or sell in the name of Jesus. O God, thank you. We bless your name in the name of Jesus we are prayed. Amen. And now we pray for our offering. Lord, Lord God, today we bring in our offering to your Lord. We're not bringing to anyone but to your Lord. The one that replenish, the one that bless in great ways. The, the one that, that give, oh God, what we don't have. The one that always provide for us. Lord, thank you for this offering. Thank you for those that we, we drop the offering in the basket. With those that we use zeal or cash up today in the name of jesus our offering our bless lord we thank you for what you will do for us next week in the name of jesus we are prayed amen, amen. can we please have a song amen jesus yeah, you have done so feel free again. to come and drop your jesus, offering yeah, and we have a card machine up here as well in your special way what was impossible, you make possible, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, yeah, you have done it again, Jesus, yeah. In your special way, what was impossible, you make possible, Jesus, yeah. Amen, I'm ready. Jesus, Jesus, I 
worship, dropping your offering, just stand up and dance. Because we're rejoicing. As we give it, we're rejoicing. Amen. Just stand up and just as you put your offering, just celebrate and dance for what the Lord will do for you. Amen. God has done for her mom. Amen. God just delivered her mom from a stroke. God bless you. Amen. And then the next thing is we're going to call on the announcements while uh, the cake is being prepared for those who are. So let's call for. So, you're all welcome to World Mission International Worship Center, where good things happen. We welcome especially those who are worshiping here with us for the first time. And today is April the 7th, 2024, and these are the announcements. We normally have Bible studies and prayers on Wednesday here in church at 7 p.m. We're going to have the Women's Conference for 2024. That's going to take place from May the 12th to May the 20th. Pastor Bayans. The women's conference is going to take place from May 10th to 12th. May 10th to 12th. Pastor Bayern's anniversary is coming up on May 25th. And next Sunday, we're going to have a very important service. Invite your friends and your colleagues. World Mission International Center once more is where good things happen. Thank you very much. Thank you for the announcement. I want to use this moment to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. Uh, I, I, I know you, you're here maybe because of the dedications or maybe because of the speaker that came for today. And if it's your first time, please, I want you to stand to your feet. We want to welcome you specially, amen. If it's just your first time coming into this uh, place of worship, let's give a round of applause to them. 
You're welcome to World Mission International Worship Center. We love you and we welcome you to come back again. Amen. God bless you all. As you take your seats, we're going to ask the usher, please give them something to write. Um, the, the usher is going to pass around. If you have a prayer topic, just write it on that paper. Amen. And briefly, um, please, while you're standing, we just want you to introduce yourself. Just say your name and where you're coming from. Just say your name and where you're coming from. Who invited and who invited you. Please, thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Valentine. I pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Valentine Agreement. I was invited by Mackey, I think, by the singer. God bless you. I'm from the first time. Welcome. God bless you. You're welcome. And we appreciate your coming. My name is Tutu Agreement. Can you I say your name again? Tutu. Ibi Raymond. Ibi Raymond. Yes. Okay. I was invited by the yeah. You're welcome. God bless you. And please come again. My name is Mongo Bridget. I was invited by Mongo Caroline. She's my first daughter. I'm from Cameroon. God bless you. You're welcome. Please come again. Natalie. I was invited by Mungo Caroline, she's my auntie, I'm from Cameroon. You're welcome, God bless you, come again. My name is Jules Tafo, I was invited by Caroline from Cameroon also. You're welcome, God bless you, please come again. My name is Foto Wilfred, invited by Caroline. You're from, welcome, from God Cameroon. bless you. My name come is Tita Leonel. Invited by uh, Mongo Caroline from Cameroon. You're welcome. God bless you. Come again. My name is Melanie Nanga. I was invited by Mongo Caroline from Cameroon. Amen. You're welcome. God bless you. Uh, my name is Pion Deja from Cameroon. Invited by Karo Ita. You're welcome. My name is. Solomon. We don't know that name, Ija. So we just need it to be. God bless you. I'm um, Solomon Asun. I was invited by Sister Caroline. God bless you. Please pass the mic around for those who are coming here. My name is Linda. I was invited by Auntie Carol. I can't see you. Oh, God bless you. You're welcome. Good morning, church. My, my name is Ancilla Jacobs. I'm invited by Sister Carol. You're welcome. God bless you. My name is Bennett Rashford. This is my wife, Isabella Ate. We were from Indiana. We were invited by Senghel Fimba and Makea Fimba. You're Senghel. welcome. This is my other sister. Amen. We don't know Senghel. We have no Senghel today. Bridget. Please, there are some people standing right behind, please. Two persons behind, please. Oh, okay. My name is Anna Hilda. I was invited by Sister Caroline. You're welcome. God bless you. Please, there, there are people standing right there behind, please. Don't miss them. My name is Isabella Mongo, invited by my sister Caroline from Cameroon. You're welcome. God bless you. My name is Heisen Summer. Invited by Sister Carol. You're welcome. God bless you. Every one of you, you're welcome. And we welcome you to come back again and fellowship with us. Amen. Amen. Let's give a round of applause to them. Please take your seats. If you have a prayer point, the usher will be passing some paperwork for you to write your prayer point and we will be praying for you. Amen. So without wasting of time, we're inviting the celebrants for today. Pastor Patrick and the wife, they're celebrating their 22nd marriage anniversary. So let's welcome them here to show us how they fed themselves the first day and do it again. Amen. 
if they do, if did it on that day, they can't do it again. So let's welcome them right here. Thank you. 